It wasn't that I wanted to necessarily be a teacher, but I wanted to promote change in education. And so I ended up teaching. From there, I just learned that it was so much more than teaching kids to read and write and do math. It was more about creating opportunities for them that they may have not had without great teachers. And this is where I applied because I did teach here and this was the community that I felt a calling to. It's a family. It's really connected and everybody knows everybody. I know when I come in this building, some of these teachers are my best friends and I've never had that anywhere else that I've ever worked. I like going here because everyone here is like very nice and it's a nice school and I enjoy being here. Academics are obviously our priority, but we seek to support families. When you're in this school, and it is full, and there are parents in this building at the same time, you really feel it. You can see parents that are overjoyed that their kids are doing great things. Parents coming in to see their kids compete in a spelling bee, or parents coming in in the evening for parent-teacher conferences and finding out the great things that their kids are doing. Um, that's the kind of stuff that you you just you generate a lot of pride. The students, they will fall in love with you. If you show up every day for them, they'll show up every day for you. When I took over second grade, they were like, what, Miss McGee, you're coming to be our teacher? And they're like, are you coming back? And I was like, yeah, I'll be back tomorrow. And every time I walk in, just that you came back. And that just makes it easier to walk into the classroom and be like, hey, they know it's going to be me. And they, they bond with you. Our kids want to know that the person in front of them every day really cares about them. And we make it a priority to take time to talk to our kids. And we ask them every day when they walk in, they're greeted by at least three adults when they enter our building. And it's good morning, how are you? And a smile on our face, letting them know, like, you are loved, you are important, and you are welcome in this building. This is our kids' school. I like to teach because they treat us with respect. We give them respect that they want. And I'm really learning from them. I love that every morning, like literally once you enter the classroom, good morning, Miss A! The energy, everybody's just so happy. They come to school every day with a smile on their face because they want to learn, which is very powerful. It is a tough gig, but it is so rewarding. Like, it makes me tear up about it. It's, it's really rewarding. But our goal here is really what the board articulated 23 years ago. We're going to get kids to college, and we're going to make sure that they have all the skills that they need to be able to persist and succeed in college. Pitt Harbor Charter School Academy is helping me prepare for college by they're always encouraging students to do their best in tests because a lot of times I was very nervous doing tests and I have encouraging teachers and encouraging staff members around telling me to do the best. They can do it. They can be anything they want to be. I hope that my students know that. I hope that they feel confident in their skills and they know going forward and graduating, like, I can do this and I'm ready for the world and I'm ready to take on whatever the world has to offer. I want to work for Tesla, my dream car. To work for Tesla, you have to have a degree. Yeah. And I want that. Mm -hmm. And I want to pass the fourth grade, get up to the fifth grade, and uh, pass everything. And I want to have a nice house with a wife and kids. And kid, school is really going to help me with that. We have an expectation that whether you're in this building or outside of this building, you're telling Benton Harbor Charter School Academy's story. And that is telling the larger story of a community that deserves a lot of respect and is on its way up. My hope is that, you know, as they go on, that they will really learn to believe in themselves, that they will see that they are, you know, individually special and that they would be a great asset to, you know, wherever they might find themselves they are somebody and that they will succeed no matter what. This community needs to see people of color 
that are striving to be successful. I think it makes a difference for our students to see people that look like them that are in the professional educational field. To me, education is almost like a civil rights movement of our era. Typically, underserved communities tend to have poor quality educational opportunities. If you really want to be a part of providing opportunities to kids who maybe didn't have those opportunities traditionally, this is where you'd want to be. At Benton Harbor Charter, we are super excited and committed to the path that we're taking. We're really focusing on delivering strong academics and our kids are eating it up. They are thriving in the environment that we're creating and I can't wait to see how far they're gonna go with all of the supports that we have in place.